Hi everyone, Hayden from Little Green Alien. Today I just got the Disney Store Jesse. I've been looking for this thing for a while, but they've been sold out for a good bit and they finally just came back in stock, so I bought one. I know I was kind of late to getting the Disney Store Jesse, but I had the collection one for a while. But I mean, it was just, I've never bought a brand new Jesse before, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to buy a brand new one and. Uh, I think I'm going to do a couple mods to the Disney Store Jesse. Like, I plan on changing out the belt, or at least changing out the belt buckle. Because sometimes the Thinkway belts don't really fit on the Disney Store ones, but I'll just kind of have to see what's going to happen with this one. And I would like to change out the pull string ring for a smaller one. And... EW! Um, if you saw my Roundup Fun Woody review, you know that I think tags are disgusting and don't belong on uh, Woody or Jesse. Uh, it's a lot funnier in the Roundup Fun Woody video, but, uh, you know, I already did that, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, here is the box. As you can see, it's uh, pretty nice. It is a Woody's Roundup theme, and you got Jesse the Yodeling Cowgirl. You can see that she is interactive. I actually really like this box. I actually prefer this box over the Toy Story Collection version. So, um, yeah, here is the box. You can see Jesse right there. Jesse the Yodeling Cowgirl, uh, interactive. There's Woody and Buzz. These are the new ones. Oh, I like how they even had the glitter on the chaps on the box. So, so yeah, that is Jesse's box. Now let's get into the review. So here is the Disney Store Jesse, and I actually really like her. Uh, something that's really cool are the eyebrows are actually brown, like in the movie. Uh, here is a picture of Jesse's toy mode face. As you can see, the Disney Store head actually has the brown eyebrows, and that's pretty cool. Uh, it's not the greatest face in the world. I think the collection one does look better. But, I mean, this isn't a bad head sculpt. It definitely works for what it is. Uh, the hat's actually pretty cool. Uh, I, I like how what they did to secure the hat is there's no string on the back. It's just a peg. And the hole in the head is hidden by the hair. And then whenever you put the hat on, you just uh, do that. There's the hole. And... Yep, just put the hat on. So, like I was saying earlier, I think I am going to change out this belt for a Thinkway one. I hope I can do it. If I can't, uh, and worst comes to worst, what I'll do is I'll at least put the Thinkway belt buckle on here and just use this belt, but I am going to try to use a Thinkway belt. Hopefully, everything works out. Um, so, yeah, it's just really like a normal Disney Store toy. The jeans are real denim, so that's nice. Uh, something that I found kind of cool, I don't really know if it's accurate or not, but I'm, I don't really think I'm going to do anything about this. Uh, the chaps actually have glitter on them, and I actually kind of like that, so, like, personally, I mean, this isn't, like, my movie-accurate Jesse. Honestly, I really don't have a movie-accurate Jesse, but I just have, like, modded Jessies. Like, I have the Hasbro Jesse, and pretty soon this one I'm going to do a, at least a couple mods to her, not really anything too big but i mean it'll definitely make her look better uh this version the boot does not say andy i know that there is another version where the boot does say andy uh what's weird is they had a version of woody that didn't say andy or bonnie on the boot and uh what happened was i tried to buy it and i ended up getting one that had bonnie on the boot so i don't know if i were to buy a disney store woody now if it would say andy or Bonnie, or not even have a name. Uh, it'd be cool to have the Disney Store Woody that doesn't have a name on the boot because he actually has different phrases. Like, he's got all the same ones the 2019 Disney Store Woody has, but he has a couple more. And some of them are movie phrases. Like, he says, you're my favorite deputy, and there's a snake in my boot. So that'd be pretty cool to have, but I don't know if I'll ever get him. Uh, anyways... Something I found weird about Disney Store Jessie is her hands are closed, and the Disney Store Woody actually has open hands. I don't really know if the closed hands or open hands are movie accurate to toy mode for Jessie. I actually really don't know. She actually has a pretty floppy head, too, so it really does have that uh, ragdoll feeling. Uh, the pull string, 
Actually, before that, she does have real pockets, so that's pretty cool. The boots are pretty nice, too. Or, well, holy shit. Um, I think her boots are supposed to have cactus details on them. Uh, I don't think these ones do. I don't know. Um, I don't know if all of them are like that or just the one that I got that doesn't say Andy. I don't know what happened to the cactus details. I thought she was supposed to have those. Uh, but yeah. Another thing too, her hair is real yarn, so that's really nice. It is pretty long though, but it, you know, it still does the job. I'm happy with it. I like the Disney Store Jessie. I'd say she's a pretty good toy, but you know, before the review's over, uh, let's hear her phrases. So I've actually only had this Jessie for a little bit, so I don't know what her phrases are and how many she has. So uh, I'm just going to pull the string until I hear one again, so... Well, we all know these two lovebirds right here. Uh, I got my modded Disney Store Buzz, and I got my Disney Store Jesse. and uh, like I said earlier, they are interactive, and uh, these two talk to each other, so look at this. No time to explain. Attack. Don't worry. Jesse never gives up. The slingshot maneuver is all we've got. Full speed ahead. Sweet mother of Abraham Lincoln. This planet is toxic. Closing oven to conserve oxygen. Honestly, I wasn't really a big fan of the interactive thing because it's not really like it unlocks too many phrases. It's just like there's a couple phrases that are unlocked whenever uh, two certain characters are together. But it's not really too many and it's not really like they have conversations or anything. Like there's the interactive Woody and Buzz from Toy Story and Toy Story 3 that I think are way better than the Disney Store ones. But the Disney Store ones are still really cool. I mean, it's cool that they had that, but personally... In my personal collection, I just keep the interactive mode off and they just kind of talk. And something that does annoy me is uh, this right here. Uh, and the only reason that's there is it's the interactive sensor. So, yeah, you don't really... It wasn't really needed. It, he would have looked more movie accurate without it. But it's a cool feature. I mean, I'm not complaining that they're interactive. That It is cool, but I just wish they would have done more with it. There was more potential that they had with this interactive feature. Well, that's about it for the review. I know it wasn't really a long one, but I've seen so many reviews on this doll on YouTube. I just figured I'd kind of keep it short. But yeah, I really like this Jessie. I think she's pretty good for modding. Uh, if you wanted to do a modded Jessie, I would definitely recommend this body as a choice. I, Like I said earlier, I'll be doing a couple mods. I plan on changing out the belt or at least swapping the belt buckle. I hope I'll be able to use a Thinkway belt, but sometimes the Thinkway belts don't really fit the Disney Store bodies. So I'm just kind of going to see how that works out for the Disney Store Jesse. And I do plan on making the ring smaller so I could at least have a better representation of Jesse. Uh, that's about all I'm going to do, I think. I don't really think I'm going to do anything else. I don't really want her to be any more fragile than like, she already is. I'm not really saying she is fragile, but like, I don't want her to be any more fragile, if that makes sense. Like, if I were to swap out the buttons, there's a good chance the buttons would fall off, and I'm just not really looking to do a full-on Jesse project, so if that's what you were looking for, I'm sorry. I don't really think I'm gonna do it, but you will see a couple mods. I'll do a video on what I did to her in the future, so uh, stay tuned for that. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on Disney Store Jesse. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a nice day.